good morning friends it's the next day or it's tracy from nova scotia living it's about 7 30. i got up a little after six did my all my morning stuff um reheated a tim hortons coffee fed my friends outside i got maze up ready for camp um i have my surgery my dr pimple popper surgery i have a lump on my right foot and it's not like i'm being put to sleep or anything but i'm driving up to the dermatologist area and he's gonna cut it off and send it off and we'll go from there um yeah but i'm gonna drop maze off at camp first then i'm stopping at a, a town on the way up i'm picking up a VTech little toy table and then I'm stopping up in the town where my procedure is. I'm picking up an extra saucer. Bought them off of Facebook Marketplace, $25. I'm having company next week. I'm extremely excited, but for privacy uh, requests, I'm not divulging personal details, but for those that have been with me a long time, you could probably make a guess. But anyways, I'm gonna have a little youngster here so I just I have nothing left I used to have babies all the time foster babies my babies you know um, I don't have anything anymore so got a playpen yesterday getting an extra saucer getting a VTech table toy thing and um, going to get my lump cut off so uh, then I can come home and everybody has to take care of me because I'm supposed to keep my keep off my feet for a while all right I just dropped Mays off um I had to use the washroom there just to pee, but it's like a little kid toilet, so I had to like really squat down. <laughs> it was funny. Oh well. Anyways, um, I'm gonna punch in the address for the place where I'm picking up the VTech thing because that's where I'm picking up first. <sighs> I mean, I know how to get to the town, so maybe I'll just do it once I pull off the highway there. All right, guys, it's 1010. I got here to where my appointment is. I'm supposed to go in for 1030, so I'm just listening to an audiobook. Jane Harper, The Dry. I read one of her other books before. I think it's called The Lost Man. They, I think she must be from Australia, like they're all based in Australia. So the audiobook is like with somebody with an Australian accent and it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to sit out here and listen to that until it's 1030 and I go in. I forgot my dang papers that I had to fill out. They're tacked to my bulletin board. It's just a sheet, you know, consent for this procedure. So I'll just have to get them to print off another one and I'll sign it when I'm in there. And I did stop and picked up the two things that I mentioned I was going to pick up. So that's good. And I had a piss like a racehorse, I'm telling you, driving all these roads that I'm not on and there's no gas stations around. Eventually I found one on my way to this appointment. So, you know, when you have to go really bad and you go and it's like, oh, it's like the best one ever. I know that's kind of gross, but I think, you know, when your back teeth are floating and you're just like, yeah. Anyways, so I'm here. I'm just waiting to go in. I messaged my husband so he knows that I made it safe and sound. I, uh... Yeah, so we'll go in. I'm assuming they're just going to freeze the spot. Like, I'm not getting a anesthesia or anything. Just freeze the spot and chop it off so I'll have a bit of a numb foot. I did wear, like, light-colored socks. Last night I had a shower and I, you know, did my feet as much as I could and made sure my nails were clipped and, you know, so my feet don't look too haggard. Um... And I put light, fluffy socks on, a pair of Misha's, actually. Usually I wear black socks, but I didn't want to have black fuzzies all on in my toes and stuff. So, And I brought my flip-flops, too, I'm going to bring in, because I don't know whether he'll recommend not wearing sneakers and stuff at first. So I do have my flip-flops. I'll bring them in. And we'll see. But, yeah, I just, I'd rather sit out here in the car. It's 10.13 now. Rather sit out here in the car and um, wait to go in instead of sitting up there in the waiting room in the uncomfortable chairs and stuff like that. So there's an old man walking towards here. I think he's going to this car beside me. Anyways, I'll check back in a bit. 
okay, I'm in here. He gave me the sedative or, you know, like not the sedative, the freezing needle in my foot. I won't show you my ugly old foot, but um, he said to just kind of rub it so it gets down in there real good. So, yeah, big old needle, but it's, uh, it's right on top and my right side of my body is my worst side. So I'm hoping this doesn't affect it too much, but I... He's going to send this off just to be tested for safety reasons, but yeah. So i got to wait 10, 15 minutes for this to be fine, and yeah, we'll be good to go. Hopefully I can watch the whole thing. What? Okay, it's 12.02. I'm all done. I have my flip-flops on. I can't even feel the top of my flip-flop. But, yeah, I got pictures. I don't, I won't show you because it is gross, but I like gross things and I wanted to get a picture of my bump that they cut off and the hole in my foot and the st stitches and stuff. I don't want to freak anybody out, but... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll get home in time... I'll see if my husband will go get maize. He has soccer tonight too, but I might milk this for all it's worth for a couple of days. The lady said probably day three is going to be the most painful. I said, oh, great. Great. But we'll just head home. Ooh, all right, friends. I have not checked back. I forget if I even checked in when I got home, but I got home. I have my foot wrapped in a wrap. My foot is still very tight and it's still frozen, but I'm taking maize to soccer. Oh, I need a chair. All right, we're at the Dollarama. Misha's going in to get a Gatorade for Maze and a drink for her. Oh. Anyways, we got not quite halfway to town, and I realized I got to bring the tickets. We were supposed to sell tickets for soccer. Never did, but I just bought them all. It was like twenty dollars worth. So maybe, maybe we'll win. It's like a get. There's three prizes: a gas card, a Visa, and a grocery card. So I'd be happy with any of those if we won anyways today's the date they had to bring it in so i had to backtrack a little bit go get it but it's 653 soccer starts at seven i'll drop misha to the pool and go to soccer so i have a smidge of a headache <sighs> yeah anyways i'm going to bed as soon as we get home i can tell you that much It's the next day, or it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I'm in such such a state. My foot hurts so much. I hardly slept last night. And I don't know whether to wrap it up or not wrap it up. Like, I had it wrapped up, but... I don't know if that's helping or hurting or anything like that. And I went up... Well, I didn't, but... I had one of those boots that you wear if you sprain your ankle and stuff like that. They used to be moms. There's an ankle one and a hole, like, above the knee one. Uh, so I got the ankle one, but it's too heavy. It's too heavy for me. Where I had my incision was right where your foot bends on the top of my foot. And he had to go down deep to get my... If this is new, I was to the dermatologist yesterday. I had to get a bump removed off the top of my foot. He had to go down real deep and he put the stitches down, one of them, really deep, he said, to make sure it holds together, like the two pieces. Holy cow, I'm in pain. I got antibiotic. I put some antibiotic cream around the incision. But this is terrible. Terrible. I have to take Maze to an appointment today because I'm the one that's learning how to do injections. He has a soccer game tonight. I am 100% not going to go. I'm going to take Maze to this appointment. We have crutches here somewhere. So I might use crutches. But then it feels better when my foot's flat on the ground. Not lifted off. So it's hard to walk. I wish I had a roller skate that would fit me. And that would make me feel better just for one side. And I've been taking my pain pill. As 
much as I possibly can responsibly and I don't even feel like getting up to make a coffee even though I want one I'm in pain jeepers this is more painful than I thought and they said day three will probably be the most painful but I already have like a chronic pain thing um, I don't know if that's in combination with this but I am in not good shape but I need to go to this appointment with Mace. Misha's going to a friend's house. I'm not handling that. My husband can handle all that. But I will take Mace to a doctor's appointment. Or, well, it's a nurse practitioner that's doing an injection. We will go out for lunch, but we're just going to go through drive through because I'm not walking. And then we'll drive home. I don't even think I could eat, but I'll get him something. What a rough night. A terrible night. Terrible. <sighs> well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. Yesterday was not the greatest day. I ended up taking Maze to that appointment only because my husband had to do something else. He offered to drive, but I was like, no, I'll do it because Misha had her thing to do. And my husband was up late last night working very late, and I was just like, I'll be back by lunchtime. Anyways, drove Maze to his appointment, and it was the most painful drive. Like, I really should have got somebody to drive, now that I think of it. Like, absolutely horrible. When I got home, though, um, I laid in bed all day long. Like, I got home around 1, I made my way upstairs, and I didn't move at all except to go to the bathroom, which was extremely painful. I've been using these crutches Dad got at Frenchies uh, just to help me around a little bit, but where my incision is, it's like that far along, and they're deep stitches because he had to go deep into my foot to um, get whatever it was, the lump that was in there, and it was weird because when my foot was frozen, like when I went to bed the night of my procedure, my foot was still partially frozen. Like I had brought Maze to a soccer and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't too bad. My foot was still partially frozen. But when I woke up in that, that night, holy cow. <sighs> On the edge of tears, honestly, it was so bad. And um, it's still not good today. I'm on antibiotic. I'm on pain medication. But it's right where my foot moves. And even if you're not bending your foot, it's one fraction of a move. Like it jostles those... Uh, deep stitches and it hurts like the dickens it really does oh my goodness um absolutely horrible and uh, yeah when he was doing that he let me take some pictures again i won't share them here i don't think or if i do i'll give you a warning before so you can skip ahead but i i watched the whole thing like i wasn't asleep or anything and after he cut this flap of skin off it looked like a shaped of an eye like it was you know he had his foot hand under the skin of my foot. Like, you know how you put butter under a turkey breast when you're trying to season? That's what it was like. And I was like, oh, and I even said that. I'm like, it's like when you put butter under a chicken turkey breast at Thanksgiving. And, of course, he laughs. And my foot was frozen at that time. So I was like, oh, it's not a big whoop. But holy cow. Talk about bring me to my knees. Um, bad. Anyways, I stayed in bed right up until this morning. My husband brought Maze to camp. Um, I slowly made my way downstairs. I'm hopped up on the medication. And slowly, slowly, uh, just to get a change of scenery, I have the fan going. Um, I put a thing up on my community post yesterday just because, I mean, I'm sitting here. I could sit at a computer desk, but I'm just so distraught. Anyway, something traumatic, another traumatic thing happened. Recognize this fella? That's Francis. Mally brought him out for me. Um, I bought some plant stuff because those white things were on his leaves. I had wiped them off twice. And I can't, they keep coming back. And anyways, I'm putting him out there. I'll use some more of the, I say antibacterial stuff. It's stuff for plants. Plant medicine. But his leaves are drooping and stuff and I don't know what else to do and I'm scared that it's gonna 
spread so I put them out there it's humid out today I know it might shock them I'm hoping that everything's gonna be okay oh here comes Boris good morning son did you have a good sleep I missed ya good morning daughter did you have a good sleep yeah. I missed ya do you notice anything about out there because he's sick okay. yeah look he's outside he has stuff all over his leaves, little uh, white stuff, and I can't seem to get them to go away. And it can spread to other plants, so I put them out there for now. Well, it has the little white things on. Like, there was plants on the windowsill by Francis. I put them outside, too, because they had the little white things. Uh, no, I didn't. But it, I don't know. Anyways, I'll show you the stuff I got out there when I get up sometime, but I got some baby equipment for a coming visitor. So, again, privacy issues, or you know, is enforced, but I'm sure you can piece things together. I got stuff on Facebook Marketplace. No. She's just checking the other plants. Anyways, yeah, I got some stuff. But... Anyways, I just thought I'd check back. Um, I only filmed yesterday morning, like, because I was in such a state. Oh, I think he has to go outside. Yeah, he's angry. Yeah. Oh, let's go here. Okay. All right, guys. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. This is a few days after I had my procedure on my foot. I'm still not 100%, but... It's the first time I've been out and my sister's down so we're going to this beach I'm not using crutches now I had been using crutches for about three days now and I just wanted to take it easy but uh, yeah it's a good opportunity to stretch my legs a little bit and I need to take it easy because I still got sutures in and stuff but I'm just gonna walk as much as I can walk Oh, Boris is having a poop. Boris is having a poop. I'm not holding Boris on a leash, like for walks and stuff. I get the kids to take him for a walk. Well, Mazaya or Mally, because they're big enough. Misha, he would drag all over. And Maze is an absolute no-go. It's just he's so strong, and I don't want him pulling me either. I'm coming. I'm just the slow poke. So... We're at this beach in Cornwallis that we come to. So, yeah. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I haven't filmed in a few days because of my dang foot and a lot of stuff going on. I tried to start one yesterday. I went to the beach with my sister. I didn't do a whole lot of walking around because I'm still healing from my procedure. I don't need crutches now, but I'm still have my pimp walk going on with the limp and stuff. Um, I think the day before that or something. I have quite a few videos to edit that happened earlier before my procedure I just have not been in the mind frame to do that but I have some mail to open and I thought it's 4 30 in the morning I'm gonna have a cup of coffee it's not a teacup one I'm sweating oh my hot flash or something anyways uh and to open this mail my husband just left um 
I have permission to say, but uh, my lovely daughter and her two boys are coming for a little visit. She has asked for privacy in regards to filming and stuff, so you won't be able to see, but that's okay. So I just wanted to explain that. So uh, it'll just be weird filming. Oh, well, you know, uh, the boys are playing there. Well, Reagan, my little baby, grandbaby, he's, you know, he's still a, he's still a bean. That's who I've been getting some uh, baby equipment for. I got a little high chair. I got a extra saucer thing. I got a little VTech table toy thing. And anyways, who I'm hot. They're coming today. My husband's gone up to the airport. I'm very excited. I'm actually over the moon, but I just wish I could move around like I want to move around. But I thought I'll squish those little starts of videos that I tried to film um, and open this mail and have an early morning. I could go back to bed, but I'm too excited. I'll be kicking my arse later because I'll be so exhausted. But I, yeah, Maze has to go to camp today. What else? Uh, my sister's going to the beach, so I said if I'm not going to get Medea, maybe I'll go to the beach with her, but Misha's gonna go to the beach with Boris, with her, so Boris can have a little playtime and get tucked out before the boys get here, because I don't want them all wound up and stuff for that. Uh, and I think tomorrow we're going to the lake, and there's just a lot of stuff going on. <coughs> Um, I'll talk more about my procedure and the recovery another time, but, oh, it took me down. It took me down, down, down. Uh, but I'm on my way up, up, up. So, anyways, here's my morning coffee. I didn't make a pot. It's a jar of Dollarama instant coffee because I just, that's the way it is. I boiled a pot of water and did this. It's very hot. The dryer's going out because I... I did a big load of wash before I went to bed and I did enough to put in the dryer like half the wash in the dryer when it was done but my dryer smaller than my washer so I got up around just before four and put the other half in so it hasn't been sitting there all this time anyways I have some mail to open this one is from Gloria from Calgary Alberta all right um whew. I've had this some of this mail for a week and a half or something like that, so I'm so sorry it took me long, but I, I couldn't do anything. Oh, this is going to make me cry. I think this stuff is going to make me cry. Footprints in the sand. Uh, one night a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along a beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed it happened at the very lowest and saddest times of his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord... You said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome time, sorry, I've, I've read this before, but it's just hitting me. Um, I've noticed that during the most troublesome time of my life, there was only one set of footprints and I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. But my Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I would never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Just a minute. Sorry, sorry, I'm just a middle-aged woman. I know this is about Violet and how hard I took it. And I'm still recovering from that. And I think just what I've been going through lately, I just haven't had a chance to fully grieve all the way. I know a lot of people won't understand that, but thank you, Gloria. 
um, I see you have a note in here. I won't read it. I won't read it on camera, but I will read it. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was not expecting me to <laughs> be like this at 4.30 in the morning after so long. But, um, yeah. Pull myself together, Tracy. Whew. I don't know who this one is from. All right, let's open it up. Okay. Uh, your dog was so lucky to have you. That footprint is golden, shiny gold. Dave and Amanda, I just see you have a note in here. Uh, you both grew up. Oh. Uh, wow. Okay, the card says, uh, no dog could have had more a more loving home than the one you gave yours. So sorry for your loss of Violet. Kind regards, Dave and Amanda. Oh. Uh, Oh, yes. There's a note in here, too. Dave and Amanda, thank you so much, really. I'm going to read all of these personal notes after and probably bawl my eyes out, but I can get that all out of my system before the family wakes up or the rest of the family gets here because I need to be the strong one around here, right? Thank you so much. I know people understand, but it's just like... Yeah, it's hard. Uh, this one is from Joanne H. From uh, M O uh, Missouri, Missouri. She put M O and then the rest of the uh, word really tiny up there. Okay, a little heart. Yeah, Joanne. Oh, there's a nice big letter in here and on the card. I, again, I won't read those on camera. Tracy, no sympathy is deep enough. No words are caring enough to take away your sorrow. Please know you are and will continue to be in so many thoughts and prayers and sympathy. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. It's a beautiful card. This one has lots of stickers on it. And, oh, this is from Teresa. I've got stuff from Teresa before. From Nashville, Tennessee. And you see up here, dog bites awareness. Dog bite awareness. Yeah. Gosh. There's butterflies and a heart. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm not that chatty. I just, whew, still early. And this is a good quality envelope. It's thick. Oh, there's little things in here. Look at this card. Oh, Teresa. And it's textured too. Some of it's bumpy. Yeah. Dogs just know when they are loved. Even at the end, when their pain becomes too much to bear. And we help them to find their, find rest. No pet could have had a more loving home than the one you gave Violet. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Teresa. And she understood, she underlined loving. <laughs> There's a little butterfly there. Oh. 
thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. I believe dogs grieve, so sending a special prayers of comfort for Boris. That must be what this is. Oh, you're, you're sending out special prayers for Boris. Yeah, I really believe that Boris was grieving for a long time, and I still feel like, I mean, he's, he's much more, um, he's out of his shell, and he's back to normal for the most part, but, uh, he's adjusting to being a single dog now, you know, like, they absolutely grieve. I, I could see that in him. Um, these were in her card, Be Strong. Dream, nothing is impossible. Have to be strong, take heart. Dream, nothing is impossible, like it says on the back. You matter. You are one of a kind. Thank you. I needed that. I did. Wow. Okay, I have a couple of packages here. I know Dad called me yesterday or the day before. I have another card, or a piece of mail. I think it's a card. All the way from Ireland, I think. So I don't have that here you're a person from Ireland that sent me something, I will open that, but I just don't have that here with me. Dad gets all excited about things. Uh, I don't know who this is from. I don't think I ordered anything. Maybe I did. But it doesn't have my Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope, okay? This is what's on the inside. Enjoy your gift. Take care of you, sweetie. I watch your channel, but stay in the bushes, lol. From Stephanie. <laughs> You're hiding in the bushes, are you, sister? That's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wonder if this is what it's like when you order something from Amazon and check the check the gift wrapped. Does it come in something like this? I've done that for like Evie when I send out Christmas presents or birthday presents, gift wrapped. I wonder if it's like that. Oh, it's a book. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this might have been on my wish list. I just put stuff on my wish list that I... Uh, some are books, some are different things, like different things. You guys don't ever have to get things off of that, but, uh, <laughs> the Sinful Blaze by Naomi West, the Chekhov Bratva book one. Wow. Thank you so much. What's worse than catching your boyfriend cheating, coming to work the next day and seeing him with the other woman? <laughs> I know some of you guys don't care for the stuff that I read. I don't always read this stuff. Sometimes I read horror from light horror to extreme horror, fluffy romance to extreme horror romance. But yes, thank you so much. I gotta open this. I don't know who it's from. Oh, yes I do. It's from Stephanie. Oh, there's... Oh, it was on this tag too. Enjoy your gift. Take care, sweetie. I watch your channel be... Uh, but stay in the bushes from Stephanie. Yeah, Sinful Blaze. Okay, well, thank you so much. I was not expecting that. I will add that to my shelves. And if you're a reader, if you're not, that's okay too. But like, I like how it's the font isn't teeny tiny and totally squished together. And I like that it's like this. Uh, yes. I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really do. That just, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Really. I'll let you know when I do read that one. I have so many books to read, but I'm very excited about that. I was not expecting that at all. 
Wow, thank you, Stephanie. You get me, girl. You get me. All right, this is, I don't know who this one's from either. It doesn't feel like a book, though. Oh, it's dog shampoo. I think this was on my wish list, too. After Violet passed, I was course on Amazon, like clicking, oh, I want this toy and this toy and all these vitamins and all this and shampoo and a whole bunch of stuff for Boris because I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, sh pretend shopping therapy. Like I just put it in my wish list, just uh, like someday I'll buy what well, this one and another day I'll buy this one, like down the line. But I think this was on there because the last time we went to the lake, um, I didn't have any shampoo or like very little shampoo. We use that and some dish soap for Boris, but uh, yes. Well, we're going to the lake tomorrow. He went to the beach yesterday. He's going to the beach today. So he'll be getting a bath tomorrow for sure. And now we got some shampoo. I'm sorry, I didn't read who this was from. This is from Stephanie too. Wow, Stephanie, thank you so much. Girl, you didn't have to do that. Uh, you are such a kind girl thinking of you during this time. I lost my Malamu copper in April, paying it back to inspire me. Uh, love you, Stephanie L. from Ottawa. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, I haven't lost a dog in years, like years. So when Violet suddenly passed out of the blue like I can't I can't I really feel like my heart is bruised and it's still tender and uh yeah I I hope you're doing okay because I know April's a little ways away but I feel like I'm gonna be tender in regards to dogs for a long time and I'm sure you are too sister thank you so much Burt's Bees and these are apple scented apple and with apple and rosemary. Excellent. Well, he can get all mucked up at the beach and at the lake, and at least I have some proper shampoo to get him washed with. Thank you so much. Okay, I have one more to open, and then I'll probably end this video um, so I can get a video up today, because I haven't got one up in four or five days, I think. Um, this is from either. Oh. I hope this brings you comfort. Sending hugs and love from rural North, North Georgia, USA from Betty. Betty T. Oh. It's wind chimes. I think this was on my wish list too. Um, I put it on there a while ago. I put like different things, like random, random things. Again, uh, I was just thinking, oh my goodness, and there's a dog print on there. Oh. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. There's a bridge, there's a bridge of memories from earth to heaven. I had to leave and step on that bridge to another place where there is also love. Please don't warn me. I'm all right here. There's plenty of food and water and sunshine. All of my friends are warm and comfortable. We can run and play together at this place. All the animals who have been ill and old are restored to health and vigor. Those who were hurt and maimed are made whole and strong again. There is no pain, no disease. Please don't weep for me. I want you to be happy all the time. When the wind blows, listen to the wind. 
the wind chime will tell you I'm you all I'm missing you can look up into the sky when you think of me I'll look at you from the other side we are not separated I will always be in your heart at another time in a happy place we will meet again listen to the wind and you'll know that I'm near Jeez. There's a thing here. Let me see what that says. Listen to the wind and know that I'm near. Best friends, best friend forever. And there's dog prints. In another time, in a happy place, we'll meet again. Forever missed. Wow. I don't know if this was on my list, but wish list or not. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think it was. I don't know. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I am going to hang this outside. Absolutely stunning. It's a little twisted there. Oh, my goodness. That's great. i got to show you something, too. Thank you so much, Betty. Thank you so much. Um, I can still hear Violet's footsteps, her little... Tippy taps. Oh, I can still feel her jump up and push on my belly in the morning or when I get home from somewhere. I can still feel her puff in my hand when I brush it over. I can still see her black eyes and wet nose when she's looking up at me. I can see her crusty little crusties at her eyes. Hers always get crusty. Boris is always slimy. I can, I remember it all. Every single thing. Like I can picture her here right now insane um but when my sister came down yesterday let me go get the thing she made for me all right she brought down she painted a rock so with some purple violets and there's the rainbow bridge and v for violet and on the back she put carrie maya and riggs the initial in 2024 she was like so you can put that on her grave and i'm just like thank you carrie carrie paints rocks like she can paint really fancy ones but and this is perfect to put on her, oh, beside her planted violets. I thought, that's so sweet. Carrie's, Carrie's had, you know, lost a few dogs over the years. And um, it's not easy. It's not easy. But anyways, thank you everybody for the cards, for making me cry today. I... Yeah, the cards are beautiful. I'm keeping every single one of them. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to hang this uh, wind chime up. Not today, but uh, there's a lot going on today. But thank you so much. Actually, I might hang it just in the house for now, just so it doesn't get tangled or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's 4.55. I'm going to end this. I think I'll go up and try to edit it. I don't know whether I'll get a video up tomorrow or not. We'll see. Um, I'm still recovering and there's going to be, we're going to the lake tomorrow and uh, like just with a whole lot of stuff going on. We'll see, but I'll try to, I'll try, I'll try. I need to catch up on videos from before my big old Frankenstein foot. It's all puffy and swollen and um, yeah, I got, like I said, that pimp walk going on and it's not pretty, so Anyways, thanks again, everyone. Really, I feel loved and understood. And, uh, yeah. I know you guys were here when she came. And you got to know her over the four years that we had her. Like, she was two when we got her. She was six when she passed. And I'm sure you guys really understand. And I appreciate you understanding and not making fun of me. <laughs> You can make fun of me if you want, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. 
I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.